Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the number one reason why I love living out here in Mexico. All right, so let's just uh, get on the bike and talk about it as we ride along through the streets of uh, Merida, Mexico, here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Some of you guys have uh, I've already seen these streets many times and are very familiar. Some of you guys, this might be the new, your first experience on this channel. But anyways, all right, let's get to it. The number one reason, all right, why I love Mexico so much, freedom. Freedom, you know, basically that's uh, the way it boils down to out here, you know, so. There's a lot of reasons why you could love Mexico. There's a lot of reasons why anyone basically would love, you know, to live out here and be out here. But if you were to choose one, pick one, overall, you know, overall outstanding reason, it would be freedom. You know, because freedom and liberty, more than anything else. Freedom and liberty, to be yourself, to do you, um, you know, whether it's a freedom to, uh, of expression, freedom to uh, start your business, um, you know, the freedom of, of capitalism, you know, freedom of all kinds of uh, choices and all kinds of stuff that, I mean, and so, you know, let me, let's start breaking this down because this might be a little confusing to some people because I'm American. I come from the land of the free. You know, you already know what's up, America. Um, but for a very, very long time now in the US, we have lost our freedoms and liberties. We have lost our freedoms and liberties. We, like I said, we've lost our freedoms and liberties. And, um, you know, we're not gonna be discussing, you know, that too much here, you know what I mean? Uh, but these freedoms and liberties have now been lost, not just in the US, but everywhere. All right, guys, I just wanted that loud, noisy motorcycle to skip on by. You can probably still hear it in the background. Very loud. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you know, going back to freedom, you know, here, you know, I'm now more than ever, you know, as we enter 2021 and, um, you know, we're going into, you know, uncharted territory um, all around the world. You know, one thing that everyone's losing all across the world is freedom and liberty. Um, and it doesn't matter where the hell you're coming from, freedom and liberty. And so, you know, out here, it can be as simple as that guy having that loud ass muffler and everybody has to deal with it and put up with it because there's nothing anyone can do about him having a fucking loud muffler as to where, you know, in some of these first world countries, um, basically, um, if you have, uh, you know, a very loud muffler, you can get fined, you can get arrested. Um, and so on and so forth. So now as we move into a world where, you know, whether it's wearing your mask, whether it's your political affiliation, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, um, you know, whatever it is, you know what I mean? There's just so many things that it just keep adding up and it just depends on what country you're coming from. Uh, they're going to differ, but regardless, at the end of the day, you're going to, you're finding it out there, no matter where you are and where you're coming from, more and more difficult to live in your country and again even follow the law you know what i mean because of all these insane um laws and uh, restrictions and uh, and um and there and you know mandates and things that are coming your way again you know adding on top of the absurd ones that already exist so with that being said you know as i live out here in mexico as i'm experiencing daily life out here in mexico sure you know what I mean? I don't like it when I see the people around me 
all blindly complying, wearing their mask and you know doing all these other things. But when I see the freedom in which I can not wear mine and live my life and do as I please, just like the guy with a very loud muffler, well, you know, it don't bother me because again, many, many countries around the world right now, you can't do that. If they say you gotta wear it and you're not wearing it, you know, you're gonna have a major problem. Um, not here. And, um, freedom. All right, like those birds that were flying there, free bird, you know? Again, and so out here, you know, we've talked about that freedom and liberty out here many times. We talk about it all the time. When we talk about like the cops out here, the cops are awesome and amazing. Why? Because they don't do anything. And that can go, you know, good and bad, depending on, you know, who you're asking. You know, for me, it's great, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it just depends, you know what I mean, on many, many things. But anyways, the point I'm making is that, you know, at the end of the day, the freedom and liberty that comes from living out here is unsurpassed by, I think, anyone or any place. I think this is where I got to turn. Yes, it is. So... So we're gonna go through the heart of it centro Saturday afternoon here. But anyways, yeah guys, you know what I mean? Like just a lot of freedom and liberty that comes from living out here. A lot of it I've explained and talked about in many episodes, you know? Some are pretty obvious, but many are not so obvious until you're here. You know, like out here, you're never gonna get towed for parking on the wrong side of the road or not parking correctly or whatever the fuck, you get what I'm saying? Like. I don't even think they have parking tickets out here. I don't even think parking tickets are a thing out here. You know what I mean? People ask me about car insurance. Again, it's optional. Um, people ask me about, you know, all these things. You know what I mean? Again, like when it comes to like opening up a business, you know, operating a business, um, things like that, you know? Um, anyone out here can operate any kind of business. All you gotta do is just do your thing. And um, when it comes to like laws, regulations, restrictions, there are very few, if any. And um, basically, if anything, they're coming down with a few more now, you know, due to the, you know, the virus situation, you know. But other than that, you know, other than complying with those, you know, mandates and shit like that, you're good to go out here, you know, for the most part. But at the end of the day, it's, this is really capitalism at its best out here. You know, a lot of people get a misconception of what capitalism is for some odd reason. Um, but out here, you get to really see, you know, capitalism in full blown. Okay, so look, how about this? Out here, um, the roads, you're gonna see a lot of potholes, and you're gonna see a lot of, uh, you know, again, you know, some areas, especially like in certain neighborhoods and um, places like, uh, you know, um, where people live, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, the residential areas and more residential neighborhoods. You know, you're gonna find a lot of roads and, and a lot of places around uh, the city, a lot of roads that are very deteriorated, full of potholes and messed up. But out here, the government doesn't come and fix it and overcharge and overcharge like a crazy tax and yada, yada, yada. You know, um, you know that whole corrupt system. No, actually the government doesn't do basically anything. And so it's up to the people in the neighborhood to fix the pothole themselves. And they do. And so they either do it themselves or they hire somebody to do it. And everything is very easy and accessible. And, um, you know, for example, my neighborhood, there was a lot of potholes. And I was wondering, man, how come they haven't fixed it? And I realized it's all because of all the rains this past year, a lot of rain, shitty weather that were just creating more. So now that everything's back to dry and we're kind of going back to normal in that sense as well with the weather, then you're seeing a lot of people, um, again, now the, now the potholes are getting filled and fixed. You know, even in the shitty economy, you know? So, um, just things like that, you know what I mean? And again, and all these things are fixed by the people. And so the people have the freedom to do things like that and not have to like petition the government or ask for permission or anything like that. They just do it and that's it. Same thing as like, if you're gonna be building something in your house or building a house or do, you know, outside of like some minimal, you know, minimal, 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 you know, permits 
and again depending on the area so if you're like out here in the historical center of the city oh yeah you know you're probably gonna get permits and and uh and all kinds of restrictions up the ass like in the u.s a lot of corruption maybe not i don't know whatever but i know it's a lot of uh you know but outside of uh, the historical city center you know um yeah you know there's no real laws restrictions uh any kind of anything you know you can build wherever you want you can do whatever you want you gotta like you know outside of getting again just a few basic uh, permissions or or uh announcements or whatever the hell you gotta do you know what i mean like hey i'm gonna be building here or hey i own this you know like hey when you're buying property you know when you're you know outside of just the basic obvious you know hey um you know bill of sale um basic um you know other things like you know again like the most basics of basics but anyways outside of that that's it you know what i mean you're good to go you don't have to be, you know, constantly talking to your municipality and your local government and all this other crap, you know what I mean? In order to just add a, a wall in your house or a room or anything. In fact, you can build a house here and you don't need to ask any kind of permission. You just build a house, <laughs> you know, that's it. You know what I mean? And um, let alone add all kinds of things to it. So, you know, like I said, in certain areas, you know, you might have a little bit more rules and regulations, yada, 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 but for the most part, no. And especially the more further out and the more rural you go out so again that's what i'm kind of learning as well you know now starting to go out a little bit out to the jungle and you know all that stuff out there you know where again it's like it's like really no rules it's all you know what i mean you know just the basic rules of like uh you know this property is mine you know the proper paperwork you know a bill of sale ownership you know things like that but once you own the land you can do whatever you want on your land that's it so it's kind of like how it's boiling down to with that and so you know welcome change is a very very welcome change and so and i can go on and on you know like there's tons of freedom out here you know out here you don't need to wear a helmet it's advised if you don't wear one you already know the consequences as you're you know um you know when it comes to writing anything um when it comes to again the freedom of uh, all kinds of things you know right now i'm in the center of the city everyone's uh you know wearing their mask i'm not wearing mine i'm not i'm not gonna get in trouble again i can go on and on you know i cannot get stopped and searched you know uh, for any reason i cannot get stopped i cannot get harassed i can't even they can't even talk to me like literally so just Keep that in mind, all right? And again, they're great. They're fucking great, you know? The cops out here, so far, my experience with them, no problem, I love them. But just also know your rights, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, just so many things, man, so many things. I can go on and on. And I will be going on and on. We still got a while to ride here. So, you know, again, you know, most people can operate any kind of business, no matter what the business is, as long as you just follow a few you know minor you know rules and regulations and that's it and when it comes to even paying taxes you know depending on what you're doing depending on whether you got to pay taxes or not and um and things like that you know so as a foreigner you know um as long as you're bringing your money up from abroad if you bring your money from abroad that's it you're good to go i don't think you i sincerely doubt you pay any taxes here you only pay taxes here as a foreigner um if you have an operated business or things like that. So, if you operate a business out here, like an actual business business, you know what I mean? Like anything that you're seeing, you know, like a, like, a, like an actual store, um, an actual, you know, things like that in which you gotta like, I already kinda have to declare something or pay for something or whatever, you know what I mean? In which you're already dealing with, uh, you know, um, taxes on a day-to-day on a -day basis because again, you have a store that is basically on a, on a corner, a restaurant or whatever. So in that case, yes, you know what I mean? You've got a complicated uh, tax issue. But if you're like, let's say me, that, you know, you still have your country of origin and uh, you have your bank account as your country of origin and uh, you still basically, in a sense, you know, live in uh, your country of origin and things like that, then, you know, basically, you, you know, you're good to go. You know what I mean? You're super, super duper good to go. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even, like, a thing. You know, so, at the end of the day, I think that, 
you know, um, you know, the whole tax thing, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, like, again, as long as you, you know, make sure that your work is not in Mexico and they're out of Mexico, you don't got to be there. I was just talking to somebody about this, you know, and this is like a whole thing, but that's at the tax thing. Again, the freedom of the taxes out here. The freedom of the taxes out here is a very, um, is a very big thing too, you know what I mean? Because again, like the taxes out here, it's not like in most of the first world countries in which you are taxed to death. No one is really taxed to death here at all. You know what I mean? Like it's not even a thing. So, um, you know, the whole tax structure and tax uh, situation out here is completely different. In fact, they make it very difficult for the average citizen to even pay their tax, if you follow what I'm saying. Like they do, I mean, you know, so, you gotta declare like every month. It's like a whole um, thing. Um, basically declaring every month in order to get money back of the taxes you already paid. But at the end of the day, that's what the government here is trying to... I know this this, uh, this whole episode turned into like a whole tax thing. But that's why the government here is trying to like kind of digitize everything. You know, just like in the rest of the world, they're trying to digitize the world. I mean, they're trying to digitize things out here in order to tax people because if everything's digitized they can just tax you automatically you know from every payment every um, you know every payment every um, what you might call it like any uh, yeah, sorry it's very bouncy here anytime you get paid or you pay anything the tax is already automatically deducted as you already know from most countries so that's already kind of like in the works here but if you're if you're dealing with um, if you're dealing mainly with cash, with again, like I've talked about many episodes before here, if you're dealing if you're mainly a cash business, everything's in cash. You deal with cash. As we see everybody in cash here, it's like 75, 85 percent. All right, 85 percent of the population out here, some shit like that, is um, on cash only. And that's why, you know what I mean? Because it's like, the reality is, is that when you do digitally, the only thing that that digital um, infrastructure helps you to do in a place like Mexico is just helps you pay your tax. Which again, you, every, every, if you declare every month, you can get all your taxes, but you gotta, you know, declare every month, you gotta go to the IRS office, you gotta go to yada, 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 yidi, 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 you know, and just deal with all that. And so like, you know, if you're making a lot of money and uh, you can afford an accountant, but you're getting affordable out here, and especially if you're a you know, business corporation, but just saying, even a regular business person, um, you can afford an accountant, you know? Um, but anyways, the point I'm making is that like, uh, yeah, because it's not like back home. But anyways, the point is, is that with your accountant, you know, that is his job, you know, to go declare for you and get that money back. So you're essentially, you're paying him to get your money, but whatever, the point is, you know, the whole tax thing is very different out here. And it's like, um, you know, for me, for example, you know, my tax situation, I just pay all my taxes to the U.S. And that's it. You know, so don't worry, Uncle Sam. You know, you got, you're getting your taxes come. You know, you already know. You already know, Uncle Sam. So, but anyways, but yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? I just declare, do my taxes with um, Mr. Uncle Sam, and I'm good to go. And um, depending on what country you're coming from, you know, depending on who you got to declare to, and that's it. But that's it, you know? A lot of freedom here. You can drive a jalopy. I've talked about this before. You can basically create a car out of nothing. Create a, create an automobile, create a vehicle out of whatever parts, you know, and you can just, you know, drive it around. That's it, you know? The worst thing that they're gonna do is say, hey, you gotta go get a tag. Okay, that's it, no whatever. And what, you know, and then you're trying to register it. What is this? It's a uh, airplane, car, flying, machine, thingamajiggy. Oh, okay, boom, that's what they write down. That's it, you're good to go. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, the possibilities are endless. You know, so much freedom out here, you know, to do so many things and live your life, you know what I mean? And peace and harmony, you know what I mean? Like, um, and so, you know, that's one thing that a lot of people are looking for out there is peace and harmony. And, um, you know, especially now more than ever. And so out here, you get to have that peace and harmony, tranquility, again, that freedom and liberty to do you and then be you. And that's it, it's not really a big thing, you know? Out here, you really get to, you know, live your life, live your dream, do your thing, and uh, enjoy it, you know what I mean?
and um, that's it. You know what I mean? Like everything's just very different out here, in a good way. Not for everybody, because for some people, for some people, too much freedom and liberty is not a good thing. You know, some people don't like all the noise. Some people don't like that their neighbors get to, you know, do this, this, or that. Some people don't like a lot of these things, and some people prefer more rules and regulations, and um, and so on and so forth. So, you know, maybe it's not a good idea to live out here because that freedom goes both ways. Is the good and the bad. So, some people, like me, I love the freedom. I love the freedom of the people out here. I just love the freedom, the period, and the story, everything. The good, the bad, the whole thing. Um, but with that being said, because again, everyone out here is held accountable. You know what I mean? Everybody here, everybody here, everybody here is treated. Everybody out here is treated like an adult. And I can go on and on. But anyways, what I was saying is that I enjoy that. I enjoy the freedoms and liberties that come from living out here. But it's not for everybody. Some people hate it. Some people hate that people are so free and liberated, have so much liberty, and um, that the cops can't really do anything except say, sorry, I can't do anything, and things like that, you know what I mean? So, and, um, you know, again, it's not for everybody. So as the world turns, and some people out there around the world are demanding, you know, um, for them to, you know what I mean, to get, you know, uh, locked down, and for them to get all their freedoms taken away, well, they can stay there. And for those that want their freedoms and liberties back, well, this is a place which gives them to you. And again, Mexico is not the only country. There's a bunch of countries out there. It's just a major, major country that's often underlooked. So Mexico, you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of you guys already know what's up. But the reality is, is that, as you guys already know from watching my channel, you know, even though I'm living out here in the boonies, I'm living out here in the middle of nowhere, it's still pretty similar to what you're used to back home, no matter where the hell you're from. And um, in some cases, it's a lot cooler, a lot more awesome than it is back home. And again, for me, it is because I get so much freedom and liberty. I'm originally from Miami, Florida, where everybody has so much freedom and liberty there. And um, living in other parts of the US, I was like, damn, you ain't got no freedom and no liberty, what happened? Then I come out here, and I'm like, damn, this is like Miami back in the day. A lot of, and I, and I have a lot of older friends, older American friends, and they're like, man, this is how America used to be back in the day. And I'm like, man, that's why I love it here. You know what I mean? Because it's really free and liberty and freedom, and I don't know, I could go on and on, you know what I mean? And I do. And, um, I, and again, I don't really have to encourage anybody. You guys, you're making the decision for yourself and um and that's it you know what i mean as the world turns as things get worse and worse wherever the hell you are you know this is a place that you know is a great option and there's a lot of places like this again i can go with portugal belarus um i know there's a bunch of other countries i can't think of them right now but but there are a bunch of countries out there that are not participating that are you know op open up as open as they can be and uh, getting back to normal and back to business as usual and um, like it or not and that's it and so you know out here it's one of those places because even here in this part of Mexico the Yucatan which got really hit hard by the virus and got hit hard by you know a uh, governor that was a uh, really you know uh, closing shop and then and um, you know what I mean closing everything down and restricting everything and doing many 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 things like that at the end of the day we're open. We're back to pretty much normal. And, um, you know, you can't beat that. You really can't. And, um, you know, again, I'm looking forward to doing more traveling coming up on this channel, finally. You know, because now we can uh, travel. Now that uh, things are, you know, again, Mexico's already pretty wide open, but things are opening up. You know, because it wasn't about that. You know, we could have traveled freely and explored Mexico, but if everything's closed, there's no fun, but everything's opening up again, all over the place, all over Mexico. So we're gonna see more of that. We're gonna be traveling through Mexico as the rest of the world keeps closing up and going through their thing. And it is what it is, man, you know? What are you gonna do? 
that's why I'm again so happy, so grateful, so 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 blessed to be out here. You know what I mean? Especially during this time, because it's like again so much freedom and liberty out here. And um, man, you know what I mean? Like I, I see what's going on around the world, and it just makes it tears me up, man. You know, it makes me sad. But again, you know, nothing I can do. All I can do is um, tell you guys about where I live and how I live my life and how you can have something similar if you want it. Um, you just gotta work for it. And um, everything in life takes work, nothing's easy. But you can get it, you can do it if you want it. So make it happen. So just make it happen, guys. You know, the more excuses, guys. You know, do you already know the deal? Ha! Huh. Hey, the battery died, so I guess it's time to wrap it up, guys. Guys, you already know the deal. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Check out the website, joseadiega.com. All the links are down below. Join the new Facebook group, you know, and uh, just hit all the buttons down there, all the links. And uh, again, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.